Hi guys, my name is Jackson. I got a couple questions from Instagram on post-processing my Milky Way. So this was shot on, I believe it was April 4th, 2016 at Borrego Springs. So I shot this with my A7R2 24 millimeter Rokinon 1.4. My aperture was at 2.8. Shutter speed 15 seconds. ISO 2500. So my white balance, what I like to do is I like to pretty much set it at at daylight. Yeah, I don't really like to use auto white balance since I shoot everything in raw anyways. I'm going to go in and uh, and change my white balance from there. So I'm going to show you guys how I edit my photos so that way you guys would understand uh, the different process and stuff that I go through. So first thing first, I'm going to work on exposure. So I want it like a real neutral. I'm going to work with the slider. You know, I don't want it you know, too bright, too low. So if we bring it back to where it was, I'm going to just bump it up, give me a nice little neutral exposure. And from there, you know, that looks about right. So from there, I'm going to go to my, this is a little trick that I, I normally work on, you know, it, it, this, it's going to look kind of weird at first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the vibrance slider and then the saturation slider it's gonna look really really bad so since my white balance the way that it was set up it's, it's gonna come out really orange so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find uh, I like to find a, a balance between the yeah you know, I mean the the cool temp and yeah you know, and the warm temp so right now it's it's yeah you know, it's too cool it's too warm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it like a 50 50 blend so that looks a little bit more yeah that looks that looks all right yeah I'm, I have a lot of light pollution back here it's just because it's a city and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go work our with our tent same concept yeah with the tent I want to find a 50 50 balance so right now it has a lot of magenta we're gonna work towards the green slowly so I'll find something kind of neutral that looks all right. I know it looks kind of weird at first, but just bear with me. And now we have a real neutral, neutral color balance scenes. You know, you guys could mess around with it a little bit. You know, if you guys want, you know, it's, this this is to me is art. If you want a little bit more magenta, you know, just bump it up a tiny bit. You know, it's it's all up to you. You know, I mean, you make. I always tell people make your pictures the way you want to make it. It's your own art, you know. I don't really care, you know. What I mean, like if I want a little bit more magenta, it's all about the mood for me. You know, it's just the type of mood that I want to set with my my pictures. So now we're gonna go with uh with the contrast. So we're gonna bump up the contrast a little bit. You know, you get too much, too little. You know, so I like to just bump it up and you know get a nice little contrast. Yeah, it looks about all right right there. So now we're gonna work our way down the slider. So with the highlights, it's you're working with the highlights. So it's all about like the lighting and stuff like that. So right here, I don't really move too much around here. Yeah, I'm bringing down the highlights a little bit so that way the the lights in the back really doesn't you know blow out like that you know from the city lights so I want to just tone it down a little bit so that way I have a nice good outline around the scorpion and the grasshopper and then the shadows let's see we're gonna work with the let's work with the whites you know so let's see here you just bump it down just a, not too much just a tiny bit we don't have to go too much and then uh, the shadows so I want to bring out the shadows a little bit so if you go too dark, it's going to get real dark. So I want to bring out the shadows. I want to show the shadows under the little metal sculptures. So 
you know, I don't want to get too much. If you go too much, and it, you know, it just doesn't look right. It gets too noisy. Yeah, the dynamic range on the A7 R2 is amazing, but it's yeah, nothing crazy. You know, I really want more of like a like a silhouette. So. So that looks about good right there for me. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work down in the clarity. Um, with the clarity, you really don't want to bump it up too much. You start getting like these, it looks really crazy. I know some people wanna do it, but then you get into it, you know, it gets really noisy. You know, for me, um, I really don't like noise. And you get this almost like a weird halo around like high contrast areas if you look at it you got this this really weird just halo so what i like to do is i like to you know bump it up yeah yes yeah, for me is the rule on any of these sliders is don't go over 50. i yeah you know, i mean 45 50 you know 45 is kind of pushing it so let me just bump it up a little bit you know it looks yeah, it looks good right there. You know, you get the little different little clouds, you know, from the Milky Way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the vibrance. You know, it's the same thing. It's all it's all about moderation. You know, you don't want anything that looks crazy cartoonish. You know, so same rule. Don't go above 45, 50. Same thing for the saturation. You know, you don't want to go too much because you know oversaturation looks really bad so we're gonna go you know I don't want to give it too much of that uh, that looks looks pretty good right there okay so from here what I like to do is I like to use there's these different curves that you can use so I like to use the one where you can move the points around you know you can move it around and stuff like that so what I like to do is I like to bring up the black end side right here. It's like the shadow side, I guess that's what you call it. I might be wrong. Yeah, this is just what I do. So I like to come up a little bit. If you come up too high, so what happened is you're setting a border on how low your blacks can go. So pretty much if I bring it up here and I bring this down, yeah, it it's gives it that, that look. So, so what I like to do is in the gray area, I like to just bring it up just a tiny bit you know nothing too high and then I like to crush down the blacks to crush down the shadows a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the highlights you know get that little nice looking S curve and now if you look it's starting to give it that nice pop you know you don't want to go too much because that just looks way too fake and you know you don't want that <clears throat> so I like to you know my, my Milky Way shots I like to have it kind of subtle so that looks pretty good right there. Um, another thing I like to do too is I like to go down and, <clears throat> you know, if you have a little noise, you know, some cameras, if, you know, if you're going to have a little noise, you just, you know, there's a, there's a way of fixing it. You just pretty much, you know, you leave the sharpening alone, noise reduction, you could bring it up, you know, a tad bit. If, if you go too much, you lose a lot of, just detail. You lose a lot of stars. It looks really, really. How would you say it? Kind of, kind of, you know, blurry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bump it up just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. So we're gonna go probably around, you know, cut out the noise a little bit. But I want to bring my details back. So now we have, yeah, a lot less noise. It's a lot cleaner looking. And uh. Yeah, from there, what I like to do too is um, I know a lot of people really don't do this, but for me, wise the light pollution, I like to bring that down just a tiny bit. So uh, let's let's go with the saturation. So what I like to do is to click on here. It's like it's like a little tool that you could uh, directly adjust certain colors. So with the way that all this, the way the orange is, I really don't like that that look. From the light pollution so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna desaturate it just a tiny bit so if I go down see I kind of gets rid of it so if I want to bump it up it gets crazy 
So I want to keep. I just want to desaturate just a tiny bit because it's to me it's a little bit too distracting from what I want. So just bump it up just a tiny bit. You know, retain it just a tiny bit. And for me, that that's that looks good. That's this is pretty much what I would do normally. This is like my workflow. And uh, if I'm doing time lapse, I would just you know hit the you know if I wanted to do a bunch of I'm gonna do time lapse, I would just you know hit Control Shift. See, I don't really know too much about Mac. I'm not really a Mac user, but I believe they're you know the controls are pretty close. But anyways, this is uh how I do my post processing for in Lightroom. I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you guys have any comments or anything like that, you guys should, you know just message me wherever you're watching this at uh i'm mostly on instagram at jackie tan that's j-a-c-k-i-e-t-a-n-n-n-n -N -N -N. that's four n's i hope you guys enjoy this and uh go out and shoot and have fun and you know link me post me tag me in your your photos yeah i would love to see your milky way shots and yeah uh, I love just you know seeing astrophotography. That's the one thing I love. So hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, I'll see you guys later.